The holy great martyr, Theodore the Recruit, was a soldier in the city of Alassium in the Pontine district, which was the northeast province of Asia Minor stretching along the coast of the Black Sea. His superiors commanded him to offer sacrifices to idols. St. Theodore firmly confessed his faith in Christ in a loud voice. The commander gave him several days to think it over, during which time St. Theodore prayed. They charged him with setting a pagan temple on fire and threw him into prison to be starved to death. Christ appeared to him there, comforting and encouraging him. Brought to the governor, St. Theodore boldly and fearlessly confessed his faith for which he was subjected to new torments and condemned to burning. The martyr Theodore climbed onto the fire without hesitation and with prayer he gave up his holy soul to God. This occurred about the year 306 under the Roman Emperor Galerius. Unharmed by the fire, the body of St. Theodore was buried in the city of Eucatia, not far from Amasium. His relics were afterward transferred to Constantinople and further spread throughout the Christian world. Fifty years after the death of St. Theodore, the Emperor Julian the Apostate, wanting to commit an outrage on the Christians, ordered the city commander of Constantinople during the first week of Great Lent to sprinkle all the food provisions in the marketplaces with the blood offered to idols. St. Theodore appeared in a dream to Archbishop Eudoxius, ordering him to inform all the Christians that no one should buy anything at the marketplaces, but rather to eat koliva, which is cooked wheat with honey. In memory of this occurrence, the Orthodox Church annually celebrates the holy great martyr Theodore the Recruit, on the first Saturday of Great Lent. On Friday evening at the Divine Liturgy of the Presanctified Gifts, the canon to the Holy Great Martyr Theodore, composed by St. John of Damascus, is sung. After this, Koliva is blessed and distributed to the faithful. The celebration of the Great Martyr Theodore on the first Saturday of Great Lent was set by the Patriarch Nectarius of Constantinople. <laughs>